the biggest from the course or creating tutorials in general? The whole process, making them, you know, did it take away from anything else? Did you have to sacrifice anything to put time into this at that age? Because, you know, people are doing other things during that time, you know, while you're there hustling. Not everyone was hustling. I'd say the biggest downfall I was... So that kind of leads me into next thing. I have an idea of this. I'm not sure if everyone else is aware, but earlier when YouTube first started, to my understanding, you took to that platform quickly and started teaching tutorials. This is to my understanding. Uh -huh. So my question is, can you explain to us how you came about posting dance tutorials and how old were you when you did this and what platforms did you do this on besides youtube uh, the main thing uh, i mean i started uploading to youtube like the minute it came out but it was yeah. primarily like sharing dance videos to friends because what i used to do prior to youtube was like uh, all these Coll collegiate dance companies had their own websites at the time and you can watch their performances and i would i would just i even and you know i like collecting footage even then i was collecting footage like i would download footage of team millennia a couple modern pack, uh, just so i can like watch it and be inspired even the old like job from back then Evolve -olds. yeah so like okay. but i got in i started doing more tutorial stuff around 2012 2013 when i learned that you can monetize like you can make money off doing tutorials so i decided to do like my own thing uh, youtube was the only one i know that allowed you that people were making money off it so i decided to do that and then uh from there, I discovered this other platform called Udemy, decided to give it a shot, upload my stuff there, give it a nice curriculum. And yeah, it's been giving me a nice, a nice side income here and there. But yeah, I don't, I don't really, I haven't been doing that much tutorials lately because uh, obvious for obvious reasons were COVID times and partially because I'm lazy as fuck, <laughs> but like it takes a lot of effort. It, it really takes a lot of effort to choreograph film and then edit the tutorials so mm -hmm. for me it, it just became like a a, a big a, a big time suck as vision paradox and everything else was becoming as i was getting more involved with those well to my knowledge you were a success doing that so my next question is what was your favorite outcome of making these tutorials and what was your biggest pitfall back then with making the tutorials biggest outcome i'd say passive income <laughs> it's it's what he caught and those of you guys who i guess just to give a context just because you make an online class on, on online tutorials and all that stuff doesn't mean it's guaranteed anything yeah. even though even though i say passive income it's not like it's paying my rent wow. but it does help you know plenty but I'd say successfully creating some form of passive income through my knowledge. I'd say the biggest uh, downfall. Hmm. I don't know. To be honest, I mean, I feel pretty <laughs> like in terms of it's a lot of success. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean it, it's doing what I wanted it to do. Like, I mean, like the biggest from the course or creating tutorials in general process making them you know did it take away from anything else did you have to sacrifice anything to put time into this at that age because you know people were doing other things during that time you know while you're there hustling not everyone was hustling i'd say the biggest downfall i was how much time it took i think uh, because it did take away from family and i had to focus a lot of it uh, i didn't ha i guess at that time 2013 2014 it was like i, I Vision Paradox wasn't a company yet, but so I had a lot of time to create this. I think the I think the biggest downfall was like, I think I, I feel like I could have probably better ma managed my time or not, or maybe not manage my time because I felt pretty good about that. Maybe allow myself to, allow myself to step away from work more, realizing it's not the end of the world if I don't finish something that day. Very good. All right. Well, now, how do you think the outcome of your online tutorials would be if you started doing it now compared to back then? Oh, 
how do I think it would be if I did it today? Yeah, if you, if you and I still have the same whole, knowledge, yeah. right? Same knowledge, but if you just decide it today, hey, you know what? I want to create another course. Yeah, or create new tutorials. Mm-hmm. And I'm, what? And I'm starting from zero, or do I have do I have my current do I have my current audience? Current audience, current right. audience. Because yeah, back then you start from zero, but yeah. I guess having an audience, you wouldn't, maybe you wouldn't have the audience if you didn't do it back then, you know? Yeah, it was, you think, the, the, you feel it, like you built most of your audience from doing it back then? I think the tutorials were definitely a good uh, jumping off point because it was leveraging attention from pr- trending songs, which was good, you know? And I think uh, a good chunk of my audience now was built from like, not leveraging my knowledge of dance and applying it to an even bigger kind of, I guess, genre or subculture, which is K-pop. So it's like, just mm-hmm. for me, I try to like, you know, I, I've said it with you guys in meetings, like I like to capitalize on my gifts and my knowledge to try to make profits of what I can do. So uh, that's essentially like what I did with my dance tutorials and now doing that with the K-pop stuff, uh, reaction videos. But does that, does that answer that, that question? Because I feel like I just went on a tangent. Well, I think I think the next question kind of helps. Um, Cause, well, because I kind of I still kind of want to answer that. Like, if how how do you think I would do, right? Yeah. Well, what would your success rate be if you did this now? Right. Okay. So if my success rate now with the current audience, I think would be much higher because there's a, there's attention and I know what they want and I can just le- simply leverage like cer- certain requests and there's an audience and there's a platform now. I think it would be much higher. Huh? <laughs> no. I'm like, then why don't you do it now? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I do it fully intend on starting tutorials again because I've been in, because I've just been doing, I've just been interested in doing choreography again. There's just a, a point in time in my my dancing career. I just wanted to freestyle. I had no interest in choreography, but yeah, more recently this year, I've been wanting to just do more choreography uh, to help me like kind of explore new forms of movement and whatnot. But yeah, if I was to start today from zero, I'm going to be honest, it's going to be much harder. Yeah. But if I had the same marketing knowledge, I think I would have an edge. Okay, there you go. 